Hello friends, welcome to BEC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about entomologist crop wise pest classification and I am going to cover the topic pest of apple. So the apple where the botanical name is Malus domestica and the family Rosaceae. So let's see about the pest present in the apples. So the these are the pests which was present in apple. So let's see about one by one of them in this video. So the first one I am going to tell in apple pest is the woolly aphids so where the scientific name is erosima langerium and so while seeing about this which is used to attack mainly in the months of december and january mainly due to the cold condition of the months so in this period they used to have a wingless form present throughout the year and they we can able to see only the winged forms in july and october where the transmission is said to be mainly occurred so they use it to take migration takes around whole around the years so only on some particular climatic conditions so these are the pictures of woolly aphid conley and also there are uh, attacks in different parts of the structure of apple and so the damage symptoms mainly caused by these are the infested pigs uh, as well as uh, leaves which used to have yeah, died due to uh, the chlorophyll is said to be sucked by the nymph as well as the adult so which used to have many fibrous roots because of the chemical which was present is injected into the plant and there is a gall like swelling and also a white willy patches seen at the point of stem root and also the aphid crowd together uh, which used to mainly feed on the points of some stem and roots and the infected fruit can be malformed and uh, which is also said to be poor in quality in the high damaging condition areas and so the integrated pest management for woolly aphids or use of resistant rootstock varieties and also spraying of methyl dematon or 25 ec at the rate of 4 ml per liter is said to be an effective one but we can also um, we must need to first take care of the insect pest with uh, some other uh, methods either than going for chemical spraying so the effective methods are encouraging parasitoids in the field where the scientific name of the parasitoid is Ephelinus mali and also we can also release some of the predators like chylomas and also cochineal beetles and the uh, field with uh, some particular um, grades is said to be an effective one against the woolly aphids and uh, we must also need to go for a nursery bed treatment with the carbofuron at 3 gram which is at uh, 0.5 gram um, artificial instant per plant and spray dimethoate at 0.03 percentage in March and April and June to control the aerial forms spread of these woolly aphids and uh, drenching with the methyl dematon at 25 easy at winter season is said to be an effective one in the control of woolly aphids and the next one is sajona scale where the scientific name is quadrus periodus perinicus which is used to comes under the family diaspidae so while seeing about this sajona scale the pest the introduced pest of uh, which is said to be mainly found in kashmir himachal pradesh and tamil nadu so they used to have some other pest species attacks like cherry plum pear and uh, temperate fruit trees so the Names which is said to be active mainly during the period of mid March and also males emerge only in the period of April and also their life cycle occupies around 35 to 40 days. And so, while seeing about them with the male and female difference, a male which is said to be a round and a slightly convex one with black pustules, and which is where the male is said to be a linear one which is said to be uh, have a more mobile than the female one and the symptom of damage is the infested region is said to be bark uh, which is said to be reddish pink in color and there is also a purple discoloration the fruits which is said to be unfit on the fruit surface for marketing and also there is a shoot infestant result in the loss of vigor and death of the young plants or branches in the several severe cases and so these are the pictures of the sajonus species so these are some of the infections uh, pictures of the caused by these insects and so the next one is cotton cushion scale where the scientific name is Icria percasia where the family which used to comes under Margarodidae so the nymph and adult which used to suck the plants and which used to cause yellowing of leaves and the females are with cottony oosacs so you can able to see that in the 
left side picture where the used to have got me over sex so the white color which is uh, said to be a uh, when you um, so i can explain it by telling so when you touch that you can able to see the white scales cottony scales present in your hands so these are the ovisex which is said to be surrounded by the female ones and the nymphs which is said to be a pinkish one but uh, in nymphs there is no cotton whitey sacs uh, which is said to be secreted uh, only in the adults during their matur maturation time because of the molting process made by them and uh, these are the symptoms caused by these what whitey cushion scales and so the next one is a uh, rodaria carnaris which is used to feed on these whitey scales so which is said to be an important predator so its origination is mainly from uh, australia and uh, which is uh, commonly introduced in the 19th century as a beneficial insect to by control these insect in all stages of scales so it is an effective one and so the management practices we can able to go for the white scale insect or select healthy and pest free roost stock is a uh, first and major one and collection and destruction of infected plant areas once you observe in the field and at the same time spraying of neem oil at 2% or neem seed kernel extract at 5% is an effective one up to some particular level but we must need to spray this application uh, before the rain uh, during the non rainy seasons because during the rainy season the rain used to reduce the effectiveness of neem oil as well as neem seed kernel extract and spraying application of chlorophyll post 20 ec at 0.04 percentage as a sticking agent is effective one in some cases and but i will only recommend mainly going for chemical is said to be not suitable so which is an effective one but it can be able to cause some resistance in most of the insects so we must need to mainly maintain the biological as well as the natural process and uh, so we can able to go for the lease of ladybirds uh, beetle which is a predator for these uh, white insect scaly cotton scales and so the next one is codling moth where the scientific name is sedia pomanella so which used to comes under the family torticidae and order lepidoptera so these are said to be an moth uh, so the ma mainly the larval stage is said to be an damage causing one which used to bore holes on the side seeds as well as uh, cores on both plant as well as the fruit so the infested plant are said to be brighter and attain a premature ripening so where you can able to see the hole and there is in the major cases there is a drop down of the fruit is said to be mainly seen so while seeing about this moth so the egg is said to be around with a period of 4 to 12 days and the larva which is said to be pinkish one and uh, they used to produce in over winter they used to form a silken cocoon on the box of trees which used to have a larval period of around 28 to 35 days pupa which used to be we can able to see it on the box of trees and the adult which is said to be grayish with iris chocolate color so you can able to see that which used to have a four wing of brown patches in the chocolate colored one and also they used to fairly resemble uh, a tree bark color so the adult used to have a life period of around 8 to 14 days and so the integrated pest management is collection and destruction of cocoons as well as the fallen fruits uh, in the tree yard and also moth trap males for codling and uh, moth loot traps is an effective one against these moths and also spraying of ddpv at 0.04 percentage is an effective one and the release of egg parasite likes trichogramma species which is a trichogramma embryophagum at 2000 per tree is said to be an uh, effective one for the releasing and control of uh, parasites so the next one is stem borer where the scientific names apirocarna sin naria which used to comes under the family lamidae and order lepidocoleoptera so the adult which is said to be ashy gray beetles with numerous black tuber cells at base of the elytra so which used to mainly bore the the stem of the plant and uh, we can able to see a small circular holes in the branches so we can able to find it there is a presence of stem borer where the holes are said to be covered with moss of excreta chewed by these stem borers which used to prod tuning out of the bark so we can able to easily identify this stem borers so and the next one is sirens which is a sucking pest which is to comes under the family sirenidae and order hemiptera so the nymph and adult which used to suck the sap and infest 
big infested area becomes brown and which is to cause drop of fruits also drop uh, prematurely because of these silid attacks and so the next one is tent caterpillar so it used to got the name because it used to form the its space like tent uh, where it used to fold many leaves and used to create its own tent so the caterpillar which used to feeds on foliage um, which is a leaf feeder and in several cases they used to even eat the midribs and also the hard vines are the only left region which is present in the tree so some other pest uh, uh, which was important is indian jeeves moth where the caterpillar said to be a gregarious feeder and mainly feed at the night so it used to defoliate the whole plant uh, which used to come under the family limatridae and order lepidoptera so these are some of the other insects so we cannot uh, we don't need the major detailed explanation about these one but uh, knowing about the scientific name as well as their family is said to be important one so i have almost covered major important ones required for the uh, record only on the examination points so if you like uh, i have also already given the lecture notes in description so comment about the video and join us in the instagram page if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to basic agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch you up in next videos